and the thing will go forward. Realize all the things seem dim and dark right now. But we don't know what tomorrow holds. But we realize that we know who holds tomorrow in his hand. Go with us now, stand by us in this preaching moment. Help us, O God, to stand firm and stand up on our, our, our feet and tell the story as it goes on. We will respect it because it's yours. In Jesus' name we pray and for his sake, amen. 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 I have a book called Luke in the Bible that uh, we want to speak from. Luke is a
He wanted to cut his paths and make his footsteps in the sand of time. And so I want to venture to say without fear of contradiction that no parable in all of the Bible has been preached or at some time referred to as taught as much as this about the prodigal son. The story of the prodigal son represents a little of all of us in some degree or some way. There is a bit of often much prodigal or little prodigal in all of us. Well, we are free moral agents with a little privilege of choice. Thank God being human is the first year consideration. I, me and mine. Well, dominant of thinking as it did, the thinking of the young man in the text, this young man had his own mind. He had his own way of looking at things. And my sister and brethren, he thought the time had changed that made him to be a man. He thought the time had came for him to go on a journey. And we must all make, admit what self wants is what self strives to get at any choice. Well, even if it means sacrificing the most noble, we understand, like some so many today, the young man in the text prayed for material thing, which was not wrong to do, well, with a high head and an arrogant spirit, well, this young man, the man that his father gave him his portion of good that was rightful belonging to him. He was a grown man after all, he thought, he felt, he recognized, and should be making his way in the world. But he came with a demand. Well, for the man now, he had no concern about the cares of others. It was the now moment of his life. Now, if his father and mother are only brother, the Bible said it was his brother. He didn't mention sisters and other brothers, but brother. Was hurt because of his leaving. He didn't recognize that. His selfish desire without any regard to his mother or father's counsel. He wanted, he was interested in self only. Home life became bored to him and pair resistance irritated him. He felt that being out of, on his own would make him a man. 
as many would today. Felt like being out on his own would make him free. He could go where he wanted and come as he pleased. Well, nobody could question him about where he'd been or where he was going. Being in a far country from his mother and his father and his brother. Yeah, as he thought would make him a real man. He had a compulsive desire to escape from his family and from all of those home trains. He must have felt like he was hobbled down by the teaching of his fathers in his father's house. He must have thought being around his father under his eyes made him somewhat a slave. He felt like being under the microscope analyzed who he supposed to be. The young man wanted to be a trailblazer. The authority and the man of his father and I take the pulpit lift. Here they said that he was probably encouraged by outsiders, older people than himself. Someone probably told him that he was a grown man now. Yes. Yeah. In my poor pit liberty, they probably told him that he was, he was not a baby anymore, tied to his mother's apron string. Big man, be a man now, was in his head. The world had been waiting for you to show up. All night parties will be your enjoyment. If you wanna wanna be somebody, man, you don't know what living is all about. They never told him about his father's sacrifice in order that he might rear him and his brother to be men of the character of God's character. Nobody told him that he needed to be himself. Well, sometimes the world will go all out and tell you what you ought to be, not what you should be. Well, they never told him about his mother's love and care in nursing and teaching him what was right. They never yeah, told him that he would break their hearts. Nobody told him the world would beat him down to be, yeah, beat him down to the ground and leave him there. Well, we understand they never told him, yeah, that he would go through such a stuff. In shame and in disgrace. Nobody reminded him if he got in trouble. His mother and father were praying people. He never told him that nothing about the false friend of the world. He knew nothing about tricksters. Well, and gambling. All he ever known was a good home. A good home life. All he ever known was 
that were one this and peace. In his father's house there was peace and security and there was always more than enough. The tables were laden with food. Yeah, the castle was full of cows, sheep, and goats, asses, and oxen. Well, good rent and bread and all in the cruise was always there. In his father's house, that was meat to eat. Well, he had a bed in his father's house. He had his own room in his father's house. His father's house was not his house, but he had a bed, yeah. He had a table to sit at, laden with food to lavish himself. In his father's house, prayer was the watchword, and God was first. Well, he wore robes in his father's house. His father was the king, and his mother was the queen. Well, I want to hasten to tell the young people Money can't buy everything. If there is no money, no real friends, no associate, money can't buy everything. Money can't buy a sound mind. <clears throat> money can't buy peace of mind. Well, money can't buy Christian character. Money cannot buy sleep. Buy the finest pillar, sip the sack, and go to bed and treat others wrong and see won't sleep won't come. Well, blot out money cannot blot, blot out transgression. And money can't buy God's grace and God's mercy. Or money can buy a lot of things, but money cannot buy everything. My sisters and brethren, money has no value at the gates of death. Money can't pay your fine at the judgment box. Oh yes, want us to be reminded when he spent all his friends left him. Well, when he spent all, no one extended a heaven hand to give him a hand up. Life became a nightmare, but it ran away from him. Well, they met him on the street as a stranger and a homeless person. They didn't recognize him being that playboy that came to town. They didn't recognize him as that fellow that came with money in his purse. They did not recognize him as being that fellow from the country town that talks about his father's love. Oh yeah, when he spent all Grumbling hogs and squealing pigs become, became a company key. Yeah, and the pig pen is a sitting room where you sit every day. Slopping hogs and hearing squealing other pigs reminded him of his father's house. Well, when all this spent, Flop house become a home, and a garbage can become a dining room. Oh yeah, my sister and brethren, this young man, you have had to go through all of this for God to get his attention. He kept looking back at his father's house. Yeah, there was something.
that reminded him of the love that was there. There was something kept telling him in his father's house that was many room. In his father's house, the servant was fed better than he was being fed. In his father's house, how many high servants there had more to eat than they needed? Oh yes, he at the pig pen got a chance to come to himself. Well, this young man, well, God gave him, yeah, a man to keep on thinking his own home. It was something in his mind that kept on telling him back home. Back home, if you just make it home, everything will be all right. You got somebody there that love you for who you are. Back home, if you make it back home, it might be a long walk back home. But if you just make it home, everything will be all right. If you make it home, yeah, cows is all over the field. If you just make it home, there's love in your mother and father and brother's heart. Well, my sisters and brethren, well, being at a flop house, and a garbage can reminded him, well, in his father's house, yeah, there is room. Yeah, when all is spent, yeah, drinking partners refuse to give you a drink. Hot rock will pass you by as being nobody. Well, pimp will have no more use for you. And there's no one to tell you, I'm glad to see you, brother. Well, something about, yeah, the world, what they have used you up. They throw you away. Well, you become less than a piece of paper. Well, this man said in the pig pen, Hungry and ragged. Can't you see him in your sanctified man? Well, as he sat down, dirty and nasty, penniless and friendless. Well, homeless and all alone by himself. He sat down and shed tears of regret for his mistake he had made. Well, he left home rich. Can't you see him? Well, well, sister brethren, but now he's a poor boy. Yeah, for not penny in his pocket. Well, when he, yeah, had money, but now he's a broke man. Yeah, but I'm glad that God let him came to himself. Well, God had to take him from himself in order to realize himself. My sister and brethren, this boy, this young man, yeah, sat down with tears in his eyes. This young man Well, he 